Okay, so here's the grand tour. You guys saw everything from the outside. I do think you could actually... Uh, the parking situation would be different. You'd have to park your vehicles here. And then I don't think you'd have room to probably park the RV without blocking one of those doors to the garage. But you could probably do it with blocking one of those doors to the garage. Backyard's a little tight. On this side you've got them right here. Got a little bit of a fishbowl thing going on here. This is right on the back patio. Wood stove. There's a den right here. It's actually set up as a bedroom right now. Well, a den, but it has a closet, so it could be a bedroom. Dining area is large. Nice size kitchen, too. Actually, a really nice kitchen with a pantry and everything. Nice floors, too. See the slate? Then transitions over to carpet. Utility room, good size, leading out to the back. Hallway connecting. Bedroom. It's a little full of stuff. Looks like they're kind of in the process of moving. Not a huge bedroom, but not bad. It's probably about a 10 by 11. Guest bathroom. Good size, double vanity. House is pretty darn clean, too, really. Um, this guest bedroom is good sized. I'm going to say it's probably a 14 by 11. Maybe even 15 by 11. It's long. Nice closets on the end. Master bedroom. Pretty good size. You'd fit a king in here pretty easy if you wanted to. Doesn't have a walk-in closet though. Just has this one closet here. Does have a nice bathroom though. Although it's only a um, single sink. Has a door here. Leads back into a walk-in shower. Tiled. So pretty nice there. Just a coat closet here. Now we'll head out to the apartment. Oh, and that's actually not a door now. Good to know. I'm sure that was a door at one time. Backyard is not developed at all. And right now is kind of as you can see, it's a little rocky and everything. Nothing's been done with it at all. Once again, that's all the neighbors back there. inside of the garage this door is actually right at nine feet tall so I actually think depending on the height of your RV these doors are nine feet you can see my hand right here top of my hand is eight feet there's another panel so it's at least nine feet to the top and it is at least 30 feet deep, so you could potentially even pull your RV all the way back in here. Then there's a shop area here. Awfully nice. Kind of like that. This is a big detached garage shop area for sure. Then there's an apartment above here. Guest quarter.
roofing on the house is actually in good shape. The apartment up here is probably just as nice as the house, honestly. It's smaller, but it's in really good shape. Nice big bedroom. Good walk-in closet. And actually a really pretty fair master bath. <coughs> and it's actually set up right now as a Jack and Jill. So see, it's a master to both of the, I mean, it's not really a master to either. But this is a bedroom too, with a walk-in closet. Yeah, Jack and Jill bath there again. Yeah, nice apartment up here. So anyway, I think this place is pretty nice. The backyard's not really developed much, but there's room back there to, to do things. And I think you could probably get your RV inside this uh, inside this shop, depending on the height. You got nine feet, so if your RV is less than nine feet tall, you can definitely get it in. It's long enough. So here it is.